Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. This is your girl Eve Element LLC. Welcome, welcome, welcome on. I appreciate you all for joining the channel for your donations, past, present, future. Okay. Sharing all that good, 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 good energy there. <laughs> Hey Aries, it's Aries season, so I will do this Aries reading. So this is going to be a reading for Aries to see what's going on in your energy for your birthday season. I'm channeling um, Jeremiah birthday sex. So some of you definitely have been that birthday sex. Birthday sex. Yeah, you got me feeling, feeling for the late night, dreaming. Girl, you know I, girl, you know I, <laughs> birthday sex, birthday sex, that's for some of y'all out there may resonate with, what's going on in the area season, got the father, got the son, got the Holy Spirit, okay, I should take this stick out, huh? Hold on, give me a second. Where's my phone? Let's see if I can get it. Give me one second. I'm trying to get this other deck out. Okay. Let's stop going. Hey, now. Hey, now. You're an all star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey, now. You're a rock star. Get the show on. Get paid. All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. Some of you are definitely in the spotlight. You're an all star, okay? Some of you are receiving karmic justice for what you've been through with this karmic energy. For the past several days, weeks, months, and or years here. You could be also dealing with a court situation with a karmic. Someone that is not your soulmate. Hello. Someone that has no emotions for you whatsoever. And this person is disconnected from source. Is what I'm seeing here. And this person could be a Libra. I have Libra highly aspected in their natal birth chart here. Whoever this is for you, Aries. This person is very selfish. They have no thoughts of you. Meditation reverse. This person is someone that's always out and about. You could been, you could have been or are still engaged to this. I heard spirits say lunatic. <laughs> and, girl, you know how. Please say you ain't connect to this person just because sex, sex is good. Sex is always going to be good with the wrong person. That's just a given. Okay. But what people fail to realize too, sex is also good with the right person as well. It depends. Being reverse. I, I get the energy of hiding. Hiding in the dark. Someone that doesn't want to be seen in public. Here. Whoever this is, or was to you in the past, they could be engaged to somebody else, and that's why they're hiding from you, so you don't find out that they're engaged to get married to somebody else here. This person also dealing with some type of health issues. There's a health concern. This person is spiritually dirty. They're not clean. They, they don't, how can I say this? Especially if this person's been out in those streets. But in either case, this person has health concerns because whatever's going on in their environment, whether they're around you or not, and I'm picking up severely this is an ex. This person, if they've been around bad-minded people, people with bad energy, ju uh, a bad juju, taboo, all that stuff. This person is like a psychic sponge. They picked up on the energy of those around them, especially if they run in the streets. And sometimes they ain't got to run the streets. It's going to be just bad juju from their family members or 
even a generational curse of some sort. But whatever it is, this bad energy on this person is making them sick. And that's why they got this health concern. It has a lot to do with what they were engaging in as well. That has their mind going topsy-turvy. But definitely this is a karmic for you, uh, Aries. Again, like I said, some of you, you were engaged to be married to this person. I see the ring. You know what I'm saying? This person could have been making you sick. You know what I'm saying? This person could have bad juju on them. And it tainted your, your good energy. You could have literally been the one that was a psychic sponge. You know what I'm saying? Because your energy is so pure. And you come in contact with someone with a dirty aura. I mean, uh, demonic attachments and stuff like that, you know. Happens to the best of us, but well. But I do, see, I do see some sort of uh, justice coming in here. Again, like I said, there's a court issue going on with this individual as we speak. Now, the court issue could literally be this person having a court marriage. You know how you have a civil marriage? You, you get married in a courthouse, something like that. What's going on in Aries energy concerning this uh, karmic soulmate here? Ooh, we. Hold on, y'all. This person's pissed. Because they do have a court situation going on. Yeah. Don't be getting mad at me. Get mad at yourself. Own that shit. Keep it to your chest, nigga. Fuck out of here with that. I just heard spirit say, this a fuck nigga. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, so. Yeah. They better own it to their chest. Leave me alone. Leave me out of it. I'm just a messenger. Okay. Again, like I said, with this justice card, this person could be dealing with a court case that's going on here. With someone that they could be involved with. So someone's dealing with a court case with a karmic right now. Or they're involved in some sort of court phenomena going on. Where's my... Oh my god, for real. Give me a second. What is this here? Give me a second, give me a second. Yeah, someone's keeping an engagement a secret here. It's like, you better make sure, you better take care of your health before you can even get in, involved with anybody. Like, literally. Someone's spiritually sick here. It's a spiritual sickness. Definitely a spiritual sickness here. Somebody been doing too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Someone's been doing too much. Mm, I can't say. All I know is this person is spiritually sick, y'all. They spiritually sick. They've been engaging in some things. Doing what they not supposed to be doing. In the dark and trying to hide it. And it's coming out. You know how it's being shown? Through their sickness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's going on with this Aries reading concerning this person? Holy Spirit, benevolent spirits only. What's going on with this individual? What's going on with Aries reading? What am I looking at? With this justice and this soulmate reverse, can you clarify this, please? 
Justice Soulmate Reverse. Along with Meditation Reverse. Yeah, who, this person, they don't think. I feel like for some of you, predominantly, this person just... Hold on. I'm channeling something right now. Able to put a tall building in a single bound. It's a bird. It's a plane. Superman. I don't know. I'm trying to think they Superman. They're not even um like focused on the situation that they're in. Whatever this karmic soulmate is. This person has no peace. They have no solace here. Like I thought. I uh huh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Then I say Libra. Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And I'm hearing North Node. Jupiter and Libra. Venus and Libra. Look how you look, look. Don't you look like you're thinking about something? But truth be told, he really not meditating. He really ain't got no thoughts. He ain't thinking about nothing. And for some, if this is a court case... Dang, look how many swords you got. Hold on. He got two swords, one in each hand, ready to cut a mother lover. Shallow. We got the sun, then we got the moon. So this person may have been confused in his head about something at one point in time here. The confusion could be about communication here. Coming forward to communicate with you here. But I see this person's solar plexus chakra is a little bit off balance here. But something is coming to light. Something is being illuminated here. It could have been something of what a, a someone who has Leo highly aspected in their chart told this king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because the moon is Cancer, the sun is Leo. The moon is also illusions, deception. The sun is also illumination. Swords is the mental, but it's also communication along with the blue, which is throat chakra, honing in on communication as well. So again, there's some communication coming in from this person here. Uh, okay. Or they may have received news about a court situation here. But someone wants to come and talk to you, Aries. This um, karmic person. Again, I feel this person is gaining some sort of an enlightenment. <clears throat> <clears throat> and they want to come forth and talk to you. <clears throat> and if this is not a karmic soulmate, this is your soulmate that you are currently not with. Like physically, you're not with this person. But I do see like... Could have been two individuals involved in this situation here. Mm -hmm. It's like this person's trying to concentrate, but with that moon there, the moon is like deception, illusions. Illusions cause confusion, baby. It's like, should I talk to Aries or should I not talk to Aries here? Because one sword is to the side, but one sword is up as well.
definitely needing to communicate to bring some sort of justice to a situation for some of you out there as well. If you do feel the need to communicate with you to bring justice to the situation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. The King of Swords. Some of you, like I said, this is your actual soulmate here who is, um, for some of you, this person may be at a distance. Yeah, they may be at a distance from you. This is someone you're not in contact with. What else? Uh, show me soulmate reverse meditation reverse. What is this going on? What's going on in Aries energy with this? So, Five of Cups energy here. Lots of sacral chakra energy here. There's a bit of jealousy as well with this individual. It could be jealous of you. It could be jealous of them. Put yourself where you fit here. Someone is pretty aware that someone is jealous here. Um, someone is disappointed. It's this person here. They have a lot of disappointments, a lot of, re uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, remorse, a lot of regrets here. So this person could have walked out on you or left you or vice versa. Take what fit, leave the rest. Roll can be flipped, switched, reverse. I could be saying you, it's them. I could be saying them, it's you. Okay. Only you know your story, Aries. Okay. So... Get in where you fit in. Okay, so yeah. It's just like this person trying to concentrate, but they can't because they're too busy being regretful for the things that have or may have taken place in the past here. But even though this person is regretful, they're still jealous. You know what I'm saying? They're still jealous. Ah, still jealous. This is probably the father of your child here. Your ex-spouse, ex-lover, ex-husband here. They're in regret. Especially with... Um, being so controlling over a situation with regards to you. But Aries, you're standing in your power. And I, I feel like the person regrets you standing in your freaking power. Give me one second here. Wow. So, I feel like this person regret what they did to you or regret how they left you, Aries. Excuse me. You have power, you have authority, you have structure, and you're very grounded. You understand, Aries? You're very grounded. I feel like this person may regret how they have treated you. In the past, of course. Look for color symbolism, y'all. <laughs> Aries, you're someone who's very ambitious. Uh, ambitious, okay? I mean, you are the first in the Zodiac. And you, you do carry that authority. So, I mean... Hey, now, let no one dim your light. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, yeah, so while this person feeling remorseful, let them soak a little bit. They need to because they treated you wrong. You're in your power now, Aries. Masculine or feminine, Aries. You're in your power. You got an air sign in the, in the back that's behind you. You got your back to them anyway. This person mistreated you. They overlooked you. They discounted you. 
they counted you out. A lot of stuff. A lot of negativity. This is someone who is a know-it-all. They thought they knew all about you. That you were lower level. You were lower than them. You were lower than third. I feel like this is someone that mistreated you really badly. While y'all were in the connection together. This very same soulmate. Okay. Uh, I feel like this person got led astray. Convinced some way, shape, or form. Which they shouldn't be. Because if you're in a connection, you shouldn't let outside interference convince you otherwise of your partner that you are already with. Alright? This person probably was an opportunist. Right? So, again, you're standing in your power. I see you holding a cross. You're holding a cross in your hand. So, you have a lot of faith. And you have a lot of belief. Your spirituality is very potent. You have strong beliefs, Aries. Very, very strong convictions as well. Someone who is very, very moral. Okay. You, you're not confused about what's right and what's wrong. Whatsoever. You definitely are connected to source with that crown on your head and that cross in your hand. You're protected by the Most High God, the creator of all, the one true living God. You are protected by God. Very wise. Someone very wise. You have wisdom of the ages here. You have a lot of wisdom. This wisdom comes from growth. From life's experiences. And being that you are always being shot down for positions. Shot down in love. Shot down in money. You took all of those no's that people put against you. Pit against you or pitted against you. Those who doubted your worth. Those who deemed you Aries as of not being worthy, that became your knowledge, that became your wisdom here. All right? So you already know what to look for when it comes to anybody that comes across your path. Your throat chakra and your root chakra, your sacral chakra. Your solar plexus chakra. Your chakras are not blocked. And you very grounded where you at. And this is where this person messed up at when it came to you. Whatever they did to you. Because they in full on regret here. They in full on regret on how they treated you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. person's reflecting upon what they did well let them reflect let them like i said you have grounding your security and stability is untouchable and maybe that's what this person regrets trying to mess with your security and stability in the ethers here This person felt like they had the opportunity to mess with your security and your stability here. And they're regretting that because you're up your your divine femme masculine energy here. This person couldn't tear you down if they wanted to. Because you're connected. You're literally actually connected to the most high. That cross in your hand. And that crown on your head. Okay. You're someone very connected here. This person was engaging in things. That they shouldn't have been. When it came to going against you Aries. And now they are what? Let's see. Let's see what this is. 
Let's see what this karma is. Mm -hmm. And now they are spiritually sick. Okay. Spiritually sick. And trying to hide. You can't hide from ghosts of the past. You can't. This person, like I said, may want to come and talk to you on how they feel so regretful of how they treated you. Do I see an apology here? No. So are they really sorry? Possibly not. But your, stabi your stability is unshakable. Un it, it can't be touched. So you don't have nothing to worry about when it comes to your stability here. Your circle chakra is not blocked. Neither is your throat chakra. Neither is your solar plex. Like I said, your chakras are open, but they're also protected by the most high. That's protecting you. But this person definitely wants to reach out and communicate with you and try to bring a balance to a situation due to the fact that they feel guilty for how they treated you. Okay, what is this with this health concern? And spiritual bath reverse. What is this in the Aries reading? Y'all yeah, have y'all back to each other, which signifies at a distance. Y'all not y'all not like around each other physically. So yeah. Yeah, all that. Uh, let's see. Mm. So the health concerned to the spiritual bath, it's like something's frozen in time here. Like they're going to be stuck like that, stuck being sick or something. Hold on, because I know I've seen this. It could be snowing where this person is. be snowing where you at. Shoot. Where are you going? I get the sense this person could be feeling choked up about wanting or needing to speak to you with regard to them regretting how they treated you as well. Um... Like, right now, this person could be in isolation due to a separation. But definitely, this cycle is completed with this person here. This person's isolated. That's why the meditation's reversed, even though they ain't really meditating. Okay, so yeah. Four pentacles here. This person's conserving the resources right now. Their money's low. I see you holding back. After this cycle completed, you definitely pulled your energy back from this individual here. Um... But again, like I said, there's someone wanting or needing to come in to communicate with you here. I'm sure you're pretty aware because I see it here that you are made aware. This person wants to come in and communicate with you here. But again, with that green on the side, this person's envious of you. They're very jealous because you're grounded and you're very stable. Where you at here? Truth be told, Ace of Swords. Okay. There's also a lot of communication from the... Um, other dimension. 
like a, if you look at this card, it's like a as above, so below type of energy. So there's like communication to the ethers. It could be prayers going up, you know what I'm saying? But either way, this has been your reading, Aries. Like the book of personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Until next time.